everyone, and uh, welcome to my channel, Alan's Cloud. Today we're going to be talking about Kavita. Uh, it's been about eight months since I made a video. I've had to move uh, uh, jobs and states uh, in that time, so it's been a hectic few months. Uh, but I'd like to get back to Kavita, because uh, in that eight months of time since I made that first video, there's been a lot of changes to the software, uh, a lot of additions to it, a lot of bug fixes, uh, and it's, uh, it's getting better and better every day. So uh, I'm going to go over just what it looks like these days and uh, some of those new features. And then in the future videos, I'm actually going to show you how to install it using Docker and Portainer, uh, which is my favorite uh, installation method for this. But you can also use uh, Windows, uh, straight up Linux, uh, even Mac, I think, is supported. So uh, let's get right to it. All right. So uh, first things that I want to show you are basically uh, the Kavita homepage, uh, which is uh, kavitareader.com. So if you want to know about the you know, latest version of it, you want to check out the demo that uh, Joe, the developer, has set up here. You know, look at some of the pictures of, of what it looks like. This is the place to go. Um, you can also come to the download section, which is just a little bit further down on the page. And like I said, you've got uh, Windows, Linux, Mac, uh, Docker, and then um, I think the others is just, you know, if you want something ported, uh, let, let them know. But um, Again, I'll be covering some of those install options, uh, particularly the Docker one later on uh, in a different video. So other than the main homepage for Kavita, I'd also like to show you uh, uh, kavitareader.com's wiki page. So on here, a lot of work's been done on, on this as well. You got a brief introduction of, of what it is, what it does, an invite to the Discord channel so that you can come and uh, help with maybe some of the testing. Uh, because that is uh, still going on. We, we haven't hit the version 1.0. Uh, version 0 0.5 was just released as a um, like a final version, not not the latest. It's the latest version, not the nightly, uh, if you understand that lingo from using Docker. But under here, you again have a link to the username and password uh, for the demo if you want to check it out. These guides are very important if you're actually setting things up, and, and some of these things are uh, going to be what I do in the future videos. When we actually install it, I'll actually show you how to add a user. You know, I'll show you, um, you know, things like the, the uh, reading progress, uh, adding libraries, um, you know, the difference between some of the content. But, but these guides here are great. Um, so if you've got uh, questions, the wiki is the place to go. You actually have some installation guides here as well with, um, you know, some some pretty specific uh, in instructions uh, for, uh, you know, Windows. Uh, we actually have some uh, reverse proxy um, examples in here as well, in case you actually want to expose Kavita that you're hosting locally uh, out onto the web so that you can access it and have other users access it as well from the Internet. It's also available in the Unraid um, uh, repository, so you can go na uh, natively in uh, Unraid and into their app section and Kavita will be uh, in there as well for install. So lots of good stuff in here. Let's see here. File uh, and folders. Uh, this particular portion of the FAQ is uh, very, very instructional. Uh, it will give you examples of how to name specific files. Uh, so for comic series and things like this, this uh, uh, Kavita is great because it actually reads the metadata and it doesn't just use the folder structure like uh, Ubiquiti used to. That was a very simplistic approach to it. It worked, but it wasn't great for, you know, integrating the search functions that the metadata allows you to do uh, inside of Kavita. So some great information here on the wiki as well, but let's just go and take a look at Kavita itself. So here, um, big change your libraries are now down at the bottom. Uh, so that was a, a big update a couple of versions back that uh, Joe implemented. Uh, and, and I think it works because like uh, for Plex, which is, you know, kind of the inspiration for this, I think, which is great because Plex is good software too. You have your on deck. So if you're reading something and you've read all of them and then you add another volume to it, you can see these green lines are the, are the read. Um, you know, so in this particular one, uh, I had read, you know, volumes one through seven, and then I uh, added volume eight, um, and in this particular uh, manga wasn't up at the top here on deck because I'd read all of them. 
Well, as soon as I read, uh, added that latest volume and it uh, found it, it put it back in the on deck and shows that I've got another volume to read. So I think I think that's great so that you can kind of pick off, uh, pick up where you left off in your reading. So I personally don't read too much on the computer. I do sometimes, but my favorite, you know, method of, of reading through, you know, uh, manga or comic books or whatever uh, is on the iPad uh, because you can see here, you can actually swipe left and right um, to get, you don't actually have to click these things here. If I want to go, you can kind of click your way through. So the functionality for the iPad and for, you know, uh, tablet devices is, is actually uh, pretty great. So of course, anything that you've uh, recently added or that the scanners have found and added, it will tell you what section it's in, uh, what library is down here and actually kind of have a quick link to that. Uh, or you can actually click on the volume itself uh, and go to it. So you can have and create different libraries. And, and if I clicked on that, like you see, it actually brings you to all of the series. But each individual library will bring up just the, you know, the books or the manga or whatever content uh, series are just in that particular library. Uh, and then, of course, you can search up here if you want to, and it goes through all of it to find anything that matches the criteria. Another thing uh, up here at the top, so yes, you have your libraries tab. Uh, under lists, you can actually create reading lists, which is uh, fairly handy for people that have, you know, a lot of content that, wanna, that they wanna get through that are in different series and things like that. Uh, but one of my personal favorites, I don't, I don't use that too much just because of the um, on deck function here is, is very supportive of the way that I read my content. Uh, but collections, I think is, is pretty cool. If you can see here, I've, I've, I put this uh, particular picture here I found on the web because um, you can put your own cover uh, for the collections as well because otherwise it doesn't show up with one when you create it. But you create a collection and then here under uh, uh, Expeditionary Force or X-Force, um, I actually have the Expeditionary Force novels uh, in here. Um, and then uh, by that same author that, that dovetails into it are the Mavericks novels. So these are both different series in the ebook section but you can group them together here as a collection uh, which i think is kind of nice and the same thing here with uh with castle i know you know he's fictional of course but uh, from the tv show uh, but the books are, are basically from the same author and um you know nikki heat was the character from the tv show anyway uh that's neither here nor there so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, core functionality is still there. The, the reading function is great. You know, if you, if you haven't tried Kavita, I highly recommend going and uh, checking out the demo uh, if you don't want to install it quite yet. Um, but uh, I highly encourage you to do that. Uh, it's very flexible. You can have, um, you know, different users uh, and you can create as many of the libraries as you want. Um, and then you can, uh, per user, control access to which libraries they can see. You can also promote content. Uh, you know, as an administrator, you can promote, uh, you know, say a certain book or a certain volume uh, out to your users. You want to promote it. There's a way to do that as well. And those are some, kind of some of those, um, you know, more in the weeds functions of Kavita that we'll be getting into in future videos. But uh, that's the core of what I wanted to show you today is just, you know, the massive amounts of progress that uh, Kavita uh, has made in the past eight months. Um, and that hasn't even showed you, you know, the reading experience yet. Uh, but we'll get to that again. Uh, we'll, we'll do an install, we'll add some libraries, and then I'll actually show you some of those reading functionality and things like that in future videos as well. So uh, if you like the content here on the channel, please uh, like the video and please subscribe. Um, uh, that's about it for the update on Kavita, and we'll see you next time.